2024. Welcome back. Uh, this, by the way, looks way too good for reacting to setup. Shout out to Lee and Green. Shout out to those two for putting this together, but I do feel like I'm in a true crime documentary. And then we finally freed our boy, Steamboat Mickey. You get it. 2024, new year, new videos. That's how that goes. We're gonna bring something back on the channel and I want to challenge myself in 2024 to have some regular scheduled programming. Now we're known for puzzle videos on Friday, but we're gonna integrate another video. Hopefully, you know, if we can week to week, depending, might not be able to, but every now and then at least, we're gonna start doing these again. <laughs> what a weak ass promise. <laughs> really, every now and then we might maybe do one of these videos sometimes. So if you're into that thing, and even if you aren't, you might or might not get one of these videos sometimes. No, yeah, today we're, we're gonna look at, uh, we're gonna watch some videos together, all right? You're gonna watch me watch videos, it's gonna be sick. Don't you hate when you're looking for a video online and then you click it and it's just a reaction to the video? Cause you can't, it's, the original video has been buried under so many reacting to's that it's become irrelevant. <laughs> and that more, more people are watching the reacting to videos than the actual video. Anyway, stay here, this is gonna be great. I feel like I'm not selling it very well. Like this video, subscribe, you're gonna need it. All right, first up, ever seen a glitch in the matrix? <laughs> Why, yes I have actually. But this uh, seems to be an interesting one because it's got a lot of upvotes. Let's have a look. It's grab time. Um, what the food? <gasps> Why are they all not moving? Eh. Wait, are they what? moving? What? Oh yeah, one is moving. What's oh whoa. Babies? Yo. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. I thought it was, I honestly thought it was like video editing until that one just started moving. Imagine how that little bird felt. He's just eating and it looks up. He's like, right, Larry? <laughs> Larry? All right, water physics is broken. A teacher doing a water experiment of some type, a physics experiment of some type. Again, where's the air pressure? Upwards. Uh, Upwards? What? No, no. this is a magic trick. So this is a magic trick, what she's doing. This is not actual physics, by the way. Yeah, no, that's, none of that's real. That's not fair. Good for her, first of all. Let me, let's go watch this video first. Gravity, she said gravity? Okay, great idea to get kids to love science and physics by demonstrating a magic principle to them and really piquing their curiosity. I think that's dope and I think more teachers out there should do the same. But I have this. This is uh, something I have. This is an uh, invisibility shield. This Pretty doesn't cool. make any sense. This steel ruler is moving up and down through this wooden puzzle box, through a slit in the top and through a slit in the bottom. But this couldn't really be happening and I'll show you why. Because inside of the box there is a piece of glass which completely fills the interior. The glass is solid, it obviously doesn't bend, the lid of the box won't close with the glass upright inside and even if the glass was on a diagonal like that it would still cover both of the holes. Nothing at all can pass through it. Let me know in the comments below if you think you know how that works. I'm not gonna give it away because I think it's a really cool magic trick and a great illusion. That well presented, by the way, but let me know if you think you know how that works. <laughs> Smarty pants. What's gonna happen here? Yo, why did that go so high? So this is an artist who painted a blue canvas or a blue portrait of someone and the eyes look like they have color, but watch what happens when you flip the negative on here. This is crazy. Look at that. Oh, yeah, what? 
Wait, which one's the water? Wait, what? Which one's the water? What is happening? Okay, the water's gotta be on the left. Cause it's coming in. Oh, but I see. Cause it, dude, whoa. It looks like the right's moving as well. It's wild, that is wild. I would be unconscious if I witnessed that in person. I would straight up faint. This, by the way, this this thing here, the little slick back, yo, slick back. And then he just starts doing this. I've never tried it myself. It looks insane. Am I alone at thinking like this looks like the man's levitating? I've never actually tried it. <laughs> I think we can all agree that that looked really good. Look at that. I gotta practice this. You know what's funny about this is that like, the way this kid does it with the music and the edits, it looks so cool. We can all agree. But then the second I as a grown man with my stature try to do this in front of anyone, immediately arrest me. Cause I look insane. This looks insane to try and do in front of people. Even, like this guy's like, oh, he's just a kid. He's having fun, he's skipping. I, if I do this, I get arrested, you understand? And not because they think it's magic, because they're like, hey, you're clearly a menace to society. You clearly need to be locked away. Nonetheless, very cool, great job. What's going on here? Oh, there's a wood cutting, so satisfying. Whoa, that's cool, wait, what? Don't know what it's doing on the magic Reddit, subreddit, but I mean, definitely math and that's cool. Oh yeah, I know this. Dude, that is a great costume. I don't care what anybody says, like, that is hilarious. Kind of weird that he has a trench coat, which I like. I like the trench coat vibe. What's going on here? Here's how a kettlebell is finished during manufacturing stage. Okay. For the gym bros out there. That's nice. Again, I don't see how that's magic. Maybe the bar for magic is really low and people are just like really impressed by uh, how things are made. Oh, am I not even in the black magic Reddit anymore? That's what happened. I got sidetracked. If you keep scrolling on Reddit, they'll take you to other Reddit forums. All right, forewarned everybody watching. Look at this. The cube isn't see-through, it's a mirror. This is crazy. Like that angle is amazing. Look at that angle. It looks like it's see-through. How many a birds had to die for this installation to be appreciated by humans? There's probably three people hired solely to clean up the bodies of the birds with broken necks. I guarantee it. Oh wait, what? Hold on, wait, what? What? I don't think so. What? That is probably the slickest retention vanish I have ever seen in my life. If you don't know what a retention vanish is, it is a very difficult maneuver uh, to accomplish with a coin. However, it is insanely deceptive if you do it correctly. And this person does it better than I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, it makes me question whether or not it's been tampered, like the video has been tampered with. Let's look, let's frame by frame. We still see it, right? What? Hold on. Did we miss it? I'm going like, I'm double tapping here. I, f I feel like I, s what? That is insane. Hey, whoever you are, am magician, am magician, uh, if that's you, that's incredible, possibly, I mean, definitely the most impressive thing I've ever seen of a retention vanish on video. If it's like this in person, I mean, hats off, that is insane. All right, this is a, here's a disappearing act from Britain's Got Talent. Okay, at this point, he's no longer in there is my guess. Maybe I won't give away the A little long for a setup, I'll be honest. But let's see the trick. Maybe the trick's gonna be worth it here. 
he straight up vanishes. And he appears elsewhere. You know, classic illusion in magic, the uh, transposition of a person that's been done for, uh, you know, probably a well over a hundred years. This version is pretty cool. A couple fooling elements. One is that you see the head shape and the hands there, you know, the entire time, which is, uh, which is very fooling. Like, here's the thing, man. How many magic tricks have the AGT judges or BGT judges seen in their lives? More than you or I, I can guarantee that. And how much bad magic they've had to go through to get to like a decent trick or something even just original that they've never seen before is gotta be pretty insane. That being said, you would think after working this long, like you would have some knowledge of how these tricks work or what to expect. Now, as a magician who's seen a lot of tricks, when I see somebody being covered up, I know that they're gonna disappear. That's all I'm saying, I'm a magician. I'm not saying people at home should think that way, but I'm, I'm thinking like these judges have seen so much magic. I can't believe that, you know, they're they're definitely like, oh, there he is, look, he just he escaped the back of the thing. You know, like, I mean, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe me. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. All right, little Zippo, cool. Don't even know why that's cool, but damn cool. All right, some good old fashioned sleight of hand. Let's have a look. Beautiful top shots, got the four kings. Nice little dribble pass. And another one for good measure. Four kings are on top. Wow, very good, very good. Love that. All right, little Cardini, little coffin change here. What do we got here? Another ace production, very nice. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. Great cardistry skills. This looks a little sped up to be honest though, by like 20%. That is really cool. And you could do that slow and that would look great. But I feel like this is a little sped up. There was an era of magic that you, you couldn't do a lot of these tricks to anyone. They would make no sense. There was no cameras, there were no cameras and, and no audience member would be standing over your shoulder to, to watch you perform. Uh, or very rarely would you, you know, perform to somebody standing over your shoulder. You know, it's it's cool to have this generation where we're like, we can put a camera here or strap it to your face and, and just, we're like, beam it straight out of your eyes. Like record what I'm seeing. That's where we're going to. I don't want to get my tinfoil hat, but you get it. Good job. All right, hold on. We got some coffee shop magic. 2023 update on a local legend. <laughs> this is great. So he does like a little bit of magic right here. But that's kind of like why I like this guy's style. If I were to levitate something for you, for real, it would only have to last for a little longer than what gravity would do to it. That's it. As soon as you pass that threshold, there is an impossible factor that applies. So if I float something and I see magicians, a lot of magicians do this, uh, which is a problem. It's, you know, the floating card where there's like a card spinning around and they're, they're, they're like spinning it and it's nonstop, nonstop. The reason I hate that trick is because the card is floating for more than half a second. And if you were attempting to do magic and really manipulate the elements around you, then uh, you would just need to have something float for half a second in order for everyone to double take. And then because you only did it for that long, people's minds start to question whether or not they saw what they saw. And I think it amplifies the magic. But if you leave it there too long, you start dissecting the trick and then you start eliminating how it can be done, how it can't be done, okay, it must be on a string, where's the string probably on his hat or his ear or something, like there's something going on. And you don't have time to calculate that if you don't give them time, but they can still feel that. So this guy right now, he's performing, even when he's doing all this weird stuff and we're laughing at him, he knows what he's doing. He knows that that little half second is all it takes and the rest is just show. So kind of cool, I digress. Aquaman? No way, what? 
Get out of town. Does he go back in? Oh, he is Aquaman. Oh, I love this stuff. Here we go again with another teacher using magic. Now that I've charged the pan positively, the pan repels the foil, right? And it's not magic. It's not Wingardium Leviosa. Hey, 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 sir, good sir. I'll have you know that was magic to me and to probably a whole bunch of other people. If you showed that to, if you went to like some remote island where this like tribe that's never been contacted before, and you're like, hey, th this isn't magic. This isn't Wingardium Leviosa. You think that tribe's gonna be like, oh, duh. No, they're gonna worship you for eternity. You will be their God forever. All right, this guy, before I even started the video, I was like, this guy's got sleight of hand vibes. Very slick demeanor. His name is Slightly Human. That probably gave it away. But yeah, very, uh, very, very magician-y looking pose here. Looking at pondering, pondering life's great mysteries. Hmm, takes the ring off. Ooh, a little ring flourish. And yeah, that's impressive. Very well done. Slightly human once again. He looks longingly and ponderingly into the camera lens. Almost as though reading your thoughts directly through the screen. He sees you, he knows what you want. He knows when you want it. Oh, you over there. How about this? One, two, three. A coin sprung from my own, my own ring. The ring to coin, coin to ring. A simple ring, a toss and a catch. But what is life if not something eternal that can be unbound? Perhaps that was really impressive. I'm really, that was really nice. I like, I wanna learn that. All right. Hey, he's just a guy having fun with sleight of hand. I can dig it, I do the same. And that's all we got for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed watching me watch videos. Like this video if you liked watching me watch videos and hopefully I can watch another video and film it and have you guys watch it and let me know what you think. Comment below, subscribe, and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll, see, we'll see you real soon, all right? You can count on it.